Reno 911. I love that. Everybody on that show, what a gas. You were so lucky to do that. Oh, God. What a gas. You know, I was so fortunate to get that, and I literally, Ian Quinn. Ian Quinn. Ian Quinn. I get a call one night from Ian saying, hey, there's a pilot thing down at Carson. you got to go down. There's going to be a guy fall off the roof, but he's not really falling off the roof. And I show up, and what it is is it's, is it's I don't know them. I show up, and they're on a, they, they're on a set inside. I walk in, and here's a lineup. Like, you know, police lineup. And it's Clemmy and a guy, and he's got faces all bruised up, and he's got a collar on like this. And there's five nude women in the lineup with just G strings on. Yeah. Right? And he says, I don't know. I, could you have them turn to the left and jump up and down? And I went, <laughs> Oh my God. What have I done? <laughs> anyway, so the long story short, and, 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 uh, uh, at the end, of, I did some driving for him and, and stuff like that. That night, I kept the guy warm and the guns and stuff. And this blind guy walks up to me. He says, we do these things all the time, and this is the first time a stunt coordinator has really shown up. And I said, okay, they have a card. And I had one card with me. That was it. So I got a call about eight or nine months later. Hey, we want you to come and be our stunt coordinator. And it was, you know, at Ian Quinn, and, and I said, uh, well, I'm sure I'm, uh, you know, I, I'd love to do it, but I wasn't the guy. And it was Ian Quinn, they said, we don't know who that is. Either you take the job or we'll hire somebody else. Yes, sir, I'll take the job. <laughs> so anyway, that goes to, that's how, but Rick came over, and I don't know which, which gag was first, but we called you up to see if you could be a helicopter pilot for the Pope, right? Yeah, I fly helicopters, and I've done a lot of movie production doing that and uh it was odd because they had sent wardrobe up to van nuys airport where i was gonna use this jet ranger to fly as a car and they put skins on it too didn't they they put skins on it up uh, uh, yeah the, the pope's insignia was on the side of this <laughs> helicopter and my boss came out she was cracking up because and all the people around Van Nuys that were watching me walk out to this helicopter wearing a full-on Cardinals outfit, get into the <laughs> helicopter, <laughs> start off and take off. And that was just... And so we see him. Uh, Rick's inbound right now. And they had a guy dressed as a pope. You're going to put him in a helicopter. The pope's helicopter lands. Yeah. It was hysterical. Oh, no. <laughs> it was what hysterical. A and then the other time, we're doing, a, we're doing a thing, and it was a speed trap. And I think it was on a... Uh, it, it was on something. Anyway, uh, two of the cops, Garcia and Jones, are behind a billboard. Yeah. And they see, oh, they see uh, Jeff Foxworthy's car go by. I think it was Cole. Goes by the car yeah. fast, and they pull up from behind the billboard, and all of a sudden. Yeah, Mikey's doubling Garcia, right? Yeah. He's a head on double. And Mikey pulls out, and you wanted me to hit Mikey at 50 miles an hour. So Mikey pulled out and I hit him on his trunk to spin him around. The gag worked great. But later, I get a call to do an Allstate commercial and they want to do something just like that. And stupid Rick, talk about a major screw up. I said, yeah, I could do it. I just did it on a TV show. And the problem was I wasn't thinking and I hit that car on the Allstate commercial where the engine was. Oh. And it didn't spin around. It spun me around. I mean, in the, in the seat, pretty much. And I got out of the car. I got out of the car bent over. And I was hurting like a son of a gun. And the director came over after he cut. And he said, oh, man, your acting was fantastic. I told you to get out of the car like you were hurt. And you looked like you were hurt. And I went, I am hurt. <laughs> and I asked the paramedics. I said, do you have four Advil? We don't carry Advil. We can give you morphine. I said, no, no, no. <laughs>